a double murder in Wayne County is heading to prison now. Charlene Childers got 28 years in prison for her part in the murder of her children's father and his girlfriend. News 8's Stephanie Golden was in court for the sentencing. Before sentencing, Judge Daniel Baird called the murders of Joshua Niles and Amber Washburn the most tragic he has seen. I just want to say, Ms. Childers, I've had a lot of murder trials and every murder is senseless and tragic, but this, it has to be the most senseless and tragic murder I've ever handled. Charlene Childers pleaded guilty in April to first degree manslaughter. Niles, her ex-boyfriend, and his girlfriend Washburn were shot in the driveway of their home in Sodus. Overwhelmed with emotion, their families also had the opportunity to speak directly to Childers. You met and held my son. <laughs> Something my brother didn't get to do. You took the chance from my son to ever meet his aunt and uncle. Then you come up here acting like you had nothing to do with it. To sit in our home. Go to my son and Amber's vigil. Go to their funeral services. Because this is really their day. This is their day to um, express their emotion directly to her. Childers will spend the next 28 years in state prison for her part in the double murders. She also told the families she was sorry. Assistant District Attorney Christine Callanan says it will never be enough. I know for the family, it won't ever be enough. It won't bring back their children. It won't give the children that lost their parents their parents back. All that there can be is an attempt at redemption. And it is my hope that this prison sentence, which we have just heard, is not enough. And I'm certain that it's not. Childers is a second to be sentenced for the two deaths. Braun Bowler was given three years last week for his part in the murders. Her husband, Timothy Dean, has also been convicted. He will be sentenced next. Maureen? Stephanie, thank you. Dean is scheduled to be sentenced July 25th for murders. He faces a maximum sentence of life in prison without the possibility 